All right, welcome back. We got Roman here for another haircut combos. So let's get this talent, but it's gonna get hair all over you. It's gonna get over you anyways, but. So let's uh, let's start off with, just like we did with Leo, let's flip the script and let you ask me a question or two about money, investing, finance, whatever you want. And then I have a question for you. So what is your question? What do most people do with their money? Spend it or save it? What do most people do with their money? Spend it or save it? What do you think? Save. Okay, uh, well, depends on, a lot, there's a lot of the factors that go into that. So one of the factors is, you know, kind of how much extra money does somebody have? So do they make very little money so they have to spend it all, or are they in a position where they make enough money to save? So that, that factors into it. Not everybody is fortunate enough to have a job where they make enough money that they can have an option to save. There's a lot of people that struggle just to get by. Um, and right now is a good example that a lot of people have lost their jobs, a lot of businesses have closed down, so they're, you know, they're not able to save anything right now. You would hope that the answer would be saved, but most people in America, there are studies that show, they don't have enough money in savings to cover a $400 emergency expense. Now, part of that goes to what I just described in that not everybody has a job that pays enough money. There's a lot of people who struggle to get by, and you're very fortunate to have no idea what that's like. But there are a lot of people who make more than enough money, and they just spend it all. So there's this thing called keeping up with the Joneses. Do you know what that means? No. So keeping up with the Joneses means you are seeing what your friends and neighbors, those are the quote-unquote Joneses. You see what they have, you see what they're doing, you see what people are doing on Instagram, and you want to try to do what they do and keep up with them. And they may make more money than you, they may use a lot of credit. Do you know what credit is? No. So credit is like, you know, credit cards, right? Yeah. So credit is when you buy something with money that you don't have. It's basically borrowing. So someone may have a real big expensive house, they may have a real nice car, they may have a lot of things. But they may owe a lot of money on that. And the bad thing about doing that is when you borrow using credit, you have to pay interest to the bank that's issuing, that's giving you the credit. So like with a credit card, if you don't pay it off every month, you start paying 15 or 20% interest, which you know what interest is, right? It's, it's extra money on your payment. So if you borrow $100 and the interest rate is 15%, then when you go to make your payment, you owe them $115. That $15 extra, that's interest. So the bad thing about that is interest compounds on top of interest. So that's called compound interest, which we've talked about before. Compound interest can work for you. So if you're saving and investing, it can help your money grow. But if you're borrowing and you're in debt, compound interest can also make your debt grow, grow, grow to the point where it's harder to get out of. So um, a lot of people keep up with the Joneses and they spend more than they make. Uh, so that's why budgeting is so important. Sitting down and looking at how much money do you make, how much money do you need to live off of, and can you afford to do certain things. So most people, unfortunately, spend more than they should. Um, and then that even goes further and deeper into like retirement savings and investing. Um, America does not do a very good job in general. Those who have the means and that make enough money, we're not the best saver for consumers. Um, and it's just, I think it's gotten worse since we have social media. And I'm not perfect. I buy stuff that probably shouldn't buy and would be better off saving. But the final thing with this, I'm all over the spot, but maybe think of a new thing, is it is good to spend. You shouldn't save everything. you got to have balance in your life. You know what I mean by balance? Like, you can, you can, balance, do. Like, you can do stuff with your money, maybe? Yeah, so you can do both. We can save and we can spend. Now, do you know why I think it's important to have balance? Uh, no. Does everybody make it to be 110? No. Do we know people who have passed away when they're young? Yeah. So we don't know how long we're going to live. And what if you saved all this money, you never did anything, you never experienced anything, but you had all this money yeah. saved that you never got to spend? Yeah. I think that's sad, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I think the answer is a healthy balance of save and prepare and be responsible. Make sure you have an emergency fund, more than the $400. Make sure you have enough money to cover an emergency if you can, and then splurge from time to time. Take vacations, buy Jordans that come out every once in a while, just to make sure that you're enjoying living life. But do it responsibly. You can't do everything. You got to pick and choose. But you got to kind of rank what's most important to you. So, um, so back to your original question: people save and people spend. If you look at the numbers in America, more people spend than they do save. 
Um, some of that's by necessity because they have to. Some of it's because we're big consumers and we like to buy things and we like to try to compete with other people and have the best shoes or the best car or the best house. When at the end of the day, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is our families, right? And I think that experiences and doing things are more important than actually having things. So that's my answer to that. I have a question for you, kind of along the same lines. If you had all the money in the world, no more money that you would ever need, what would you do? What would you do with that money? Would you work? What would your life look like if you didn't need to worry about money? Make sure you talk loud so we can hear you. What would you, what would your life be like without money? No, if you, if you didn't have to worry about money. Oh. So let's say you're Cristiano Ronaldo and you're worth $500 million. Yeah. What do you worth? You, money's not anything you have to worry about. What would you do? How would you spend your time and what would you do with your money? You know, would you, okay, well, let's start at the, at the basics. Would you, let's say you're an adult, would you work or would you just do nothing? I wouldn't totally just do nothing. I'd work. Like, I wouldn't work 24 7, but I'd still work, not okay. like all the time. Uh huh. I like that answer because I think it's so important that even if you have all the money to have something that gives you purpose. So let's, let's see, think about that. If you were going to, so you're still going to work. Would you work doing something you didn't like, or would you make sure that what you were doing was something you enjoyed and you loved and were excited about? Something that I like. Okay, I like that answer. All right, so you have more money than you could worry about, more money than you could ever spend. Your kids are going to be in good shape. Uh, would you, like, what type of things would you spend the money on? Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. A bigger house? Maybe? A bigger house? Okay. So why would you want a bigger house? A bigger house? I don't know, because I want kids. Okay. Uh, what about like trips? Is there any trips you'd want to go? Anything um, um, special you know you'd want to do? Yeah. What's if, that? What, if I'm a kid and we don't get to go to Europe, go to Europe. Go to Europe? Okay. Um, what other things? Um, ooh, I want to go to California because I love going to California. California, all right. You got the West Coast love in you like your dad. Um, hear that, Mom? Um, anything else? Um. Okay, my final question for you then, would you, if you can't spend all this money because you have so much and you're so fortunate, would you try to help others? Yeah. How would you help others? Donating, like, a ton of charity. Donate, donate charity? That's good. Is there any causes that you know of today as a nine-year-old that you would want to give money to that you know of? or? You uh, for COVID-19. For COVID-19, okay. I like that. Anything else? Uh -huh. All right. I, I think that's a good episode. You ready to finish this haircut up and then uh, get to Mom's store to do a photo shoot for Silas? Yeah. All right. Well, then tell everybody bye. Thank you for watching. Do your normal things you do to help me out. So, everybody, thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Ask these questions to your kids. They're a lot of fun. Let them ask you questions as well. We need to start talking about finances with our kids when they're young. So they're around it, they're aware of it, and they can know. Um, so have these have these conversations with the kids. It's fun. What you got? Make sure to like and subscribe, and peace. Have a good one.